Hello everybody, it's Janice. Um, today I'm going to be making a layout with this paper that I got from Recollections called Believe. It is a Christmas stack and I'm doing a Christmas picture. I'm actually using one of these papers. I'll show you. You can see kind of as I go through just how pretty these papers are. And I didn't see it. Okay, can you just put this up and I'll just show you the sheet that I'm using. I am using, it is 12 by 12. This is going to be a single photo layout. Um, I have a white sheet. I, I got, first of all, let me just say, um, let me back up a little bit here. I did get the idea for this layout from a sketch. I went to sketches, stickers and fun. That's what it's called. Stickersandfun.com. And they have free sketches on there. So I picked up a, a inspiration for this layout from there. Okay. So this is a white eight and a half by 11. And this is a purple from that stack that I bought or eight and a half by 11 paper that I bought and I cut it down by a quarter of an inch on one side and on the other side and so I'm just going to go ahead and put these down I'm not going to I'm not going to save paper today because I need to kind of get get along here because the time is getting away from me. And I need to cook dinner. The boys are outside playing in our chilly Florida weather. It must be about 50 degrees outside here right now. So it's actually, you know, nice to playing outside here. Maybe it's not 50. Maybe it's in the 60s. It feels like it's freezing to me anyway. I'm glad my husband took my son out to play because I really didn't want to go outside. I don't like cold weather. Ah, that's why I live in Florida. <laughs> One of the reasons anyway. Okay, and so my photo is a picture of my Adrian at candlelight service this um, Christmas. Uh, this was Christmas Eve, and this was the first year that he actually got to hold the candle. Um, I warned the lady in front of us. She had really long hair, and I, I just let her know, you know, don't, you might want to kind of put your hair over your shoulder or something, because I was, I've always been concerned that something would happen with him holding the candle. Because um, these are real. They're not battery powered. They're real candles. And then we always sing Silent Night as we all leave the building. So that was sweet. And his little face. Can you see how serious? I mean, he's really listening to our pastor. And he really understands what, or at least he's coming to understand what Christmas is all about. That it's about Jesus. Um, so I am going to, now I feel like this is so very plain that I wanted to add something. So I'm going to use this, um, graph market street stamp, stamp, uh, background stamp. And I don't know, I'm kind of getting a feeling like I want to do a white grid. Just fun. So I'm going to use this acrylic paint dabber in pearl. And I don't even care if it's exactly stamped on there, even if it's like a little rustic looking and we don't get the whole thing. And we don't even need to do the whole paper because the picture is going to be about right here. So I'm going to grab my pencil just make some marks here where my 
paper is going to be so I know where I really need to stamp. Okay, so let's not mess up the photo. Okay, so about right here is good. Okay, and I like it. If you can see that it's a little splotchy, I like that. I really should have not, I shouldn't have put it down already on my paper because I want to kind of go over the edge a little bit. So I'm going to take this off. Okay, so put that aside. And look at this. Can use it. And I'm just gonna kind of go over the edge over here. And then maybe on my mat at this point. I'm just going to do it. They're sticky on the back, so that's why it's sticking to the... photo is going to go right here. There we go. I like that. All right, let's commit and put it down. Okay, then I have put fingerprints all over my picture. Then on Gypsy Wanderings, or Gypsy Font, I should say, I welded Silent Night. And I have this circle that was in the sketch. And by accident, I didn't put it on the pep paper properly, but I have this candle that I got from the Christmas cartridge that is, it was a free download. And so it's going to look something like that. And I want to do something to the circle, and I think I'm just going to do maybe some stitching. Um, and then I'm going to do something here to this candle. So I'm going to put that aside for a second. And let's see. I cut out the black out. Let's see, um, cut the candle out at three inches. And I'm going to get my scattered straw, distress ink, and then one of these fantastic coloring tool. This is the bullet point, and I'm going to color the flame. I could have done this with um, 
markers, but I chose to do it this way. Okay. There we go. And then I'm going to do the center with the wild honey. And that's really all that's going to show on there. Maybe do a little more. Okay, and we need some foam adhesive, some um, foam tape. like a teeny tiny piece to help the flame place to rest. So just cut a little tiny square and I'm just gonna put it right back there. Okay. That's it. And then there's these places these notches where it's kind of like a drippy candle but I think I'm going to wait because what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to put some glossy accents on it and then this is where I'm going to journal right here on the circle and then to put down my title so it's somewhat straight. So I'm gonna lay I'm gonna put it here on my mat. Use the grid. This should be turned a little bit. And I lost I lost the little dot for the to dot the eye. The two eyes, so oh well. We'll figure it out. And I'm going to get some liquid glue and just stick it down. You know what? Let's do this first. Let's go ahead and stick the circle down where I want it to go. And this turquoise paper is from the same pack that this purple came from. such a hurry all the time, you know. One of my homeschool moms, one of my friends, she was speaking at our little support meeting that we go to on once a month and you know she's saying how we live such a hurried life. We're always rushing from this to that to the other thing and you know and that we, we just can't enjoy where we are for, at this moment because we're living the next moment and that really spoke to me so I need to slow down <laughs> that's something I need to work on okay so we're gonna set that there and this if you've never seen me use this before this is um, drywall tape and it just kind of helps you to position it. And now it looks crooked to me. Ah, it's crooked. Okay, well, it's going to be crooked because I don't think I can get it up now that I've put the glue. Okay, let's let's 
move on here. I'm just going to put some liquid glue on the back of the candle. Right here. And then I want to put some stitching around the circle. I think I'll do my little line X, line X. And sometimes after I turn the camera off, I come up with another idea and I add a little something. And if I do, I'll, I'll show you what I did. Um, okay, then the glossy accents. See, it's clogged, so I usually have to put a pin in there. Now it's unclogged. Okay, so I'm gonna to get my head in the way. Just gonna follow these little lines here and just kind of make it look like a drippy candle. Some stickles. Whoops, wrong cap. Get my stickles down here. Maybe some orange for the center. And that's it. Start to finish. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.